Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> been a little lazy <laughs> uh, making videos lately, and the last couple I did make uh, weren't vinyl finds. So finally coming back on with the vinyl finds, and I got a lot to show. So um, I want to try and buzz all through and, and get these all done. Uh, lots of tasty stuff. Uh, and Bandcamp links at the bottom where they can be. But let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first couple ones I want to show, uh, a couple weeks ago I actually went down to uh, the Record Rack, my local record store, came off with a few things. Arthur Blythe's uh, Lenox, Lenox Avenue, or, or Lenox Avenue Breakdown. Oh, man. Uh, free jazz, almost, <laughs> almost free jazz masterpiece. Not really falling completely over the cliff. Uh, funky at times like you could tell it's orchestrated music but they're also given a certain free will when it comes with the solos so this is an absolute awesome gem of an album has a, a james newton on a flute and a, a guitar uh, what, what the hell is his name uh, of course i'm blanking out <laughs> james blood homer as well as jack d Jeanette on drums uh, with uh, Cecil McBee, I believe. Just fucking amazing players. Absolutely killer album. Uh, Magico with uh, Charlie Hayden, uh, Jan Garbrecht, and uh, Gilberto Gizmedi. Gizmati? Gizmati. Uh, very beautiful, almost new age jazz. Uh, very minimal percussion. Uh, dreamy, <laughs> almost at times I'd say. Not ambient, but sort of that kind of the same feel. Beautiful album. Very happy with that one. ECM right there. And The Wonderful Lizard by King Crimson. I mean, fucking pristine copy of it. King Crimson. Don't even need to talk about it. Bandcamp Find. This album is amazing. I I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right. It's a Swedish band. Uh, as an American, I want to say that's an A, but the little accent mark. I looked it up. I'm not sure if I'm completely right. Uh, maybe some of my Swedish friends can tell me, but I think it's pronounced Oa. Oh, man. Awesome. Uh, I guess a psychedelic band, you'd call them, but at the same time, they're very folksy in nature. I mean, it's sort of this soft, dreamy pop mixed with some hard psychedelic jams. <laughs> I mean, some of the songs start out real slow and then build to this crest. I mean, it is just... Oh, eating this album up lately. Uh, oh, a self-titled Be a Band Camp link. Check it out. Uh, I don't. Some of these records I've had for so long, I don't know if I showed them. And this is one of them. So if I've showed it before, I apologize. Uh, in Bogodome, Metafather. Uh, this has uh, Alexander Tucker on it, who I absolutely just love. A uh, mix of folk with uh, electronic and rock music. Uh, just absolutely wonderful. This was a VCLT from uh, the wonderful <laughs> Tim Guthrie, who uh, I entered his uh, subscribers, uh, 100 or that 1,000 subscribers contest, and I think anybody who entered, he, you know, he, he sent stuff too, so he sent me some ass. Look at that. <laughs> Natural child. Uh, what, what's it? For love of the game. <laughs> Only Tim Guthrie can send me some ass. Uh, surprisingly on black vinyl which is probably why he gave it away <laughs> but uh, great sort of a, I guess you call it like a shoegazy uh, rock uh, a bit heavier than that kind of, kind of like a garage psychedelic rock really enjoyed it thank you Tim this is one I've wanted for a really long time oh Omar Rodriguez Lopez and uh, Lydia Lynch <sighs> For whatever reason, years ago when I was collecting uh, all the Omar Rodriguez Lopez albums, he, he put out like in a matter of like two or three years, he put out something like 38 or, or, or 34 or something like that. Some ridiculous number of solo albums. Uh, some were just noise, you know, recordings and, and others were just fantastic. This is one of them. And for whatever reason, I ignored it. I don't know. Uh, but it was a fucking mistake to ignore it. <laughs> Basically cut into one long uh, track that covers both sides. Lydia Lynch is is doing these almost sort of 
drifty, punky, spoken word thing over some awesome, progressive, funky, just mastery done by Omar Rodriguez Lopez. Uh, it, it's just so good. Just from front to end, the fucking thing rocks. I don't know why it took me so long to get it, but happy I finally did. Oh, the medic medicationalists? Medicationists from uh, Timmy Stamper. Another killer record from Timmy Stamper. Gotta, gotta show the cool vinyl he's got on this, too. This is a great sort of uh, garage psych band. Uh, very lo-fi. Uh, but tasty as can be. Just as tasty as <laughs> that beautiful sort of slimy green vinyl is. Uh, really, really good album. Like I said, uh, from Timmy Stamper, who I have a couple of his other stuff. So, Timmy, thank you very much. Uh, oh, two Wayne Shorter records I've been wanting for a really long time. I sold a couple uh, schematics for Blank Stare uh, records. And I used the cash to get these two because I've been sort of sleeping on getting them. But uh, Wayne Shorter, Schizophrenia. Oh, awesome, awesome album with uh, who we got on this? Uh, Curtis Fuller, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Joe Chambers, and James Spaulding. Uh, and of course, uh, <laughs> Wayne Shorter uh, from 1967, one of the later Blue Notes. Oh, man, so good. Pretty much just a post bop record, uh, you know. Nothing too extraordinary about it. Slightly uh, spiritual at times, uh, but completely tasty. Absolutely love it. I eat that stuff up. And then Wayne Shorter, Supernova. This came out in 67, and it is a completely different beast of a record. <laughs> this is uh, pretty much after he was been in the Miles Davis band, and uh, Miles got his claws into him. So this is, this is more along the lines of a uh, Miles Davis electric band. Uh, and coincidentally enough, it has Miles Davis Electric Band playing. You have uh, John McLaughlin with uh, Sonny Sherrick both doing guitars. <laughs> right. right, Miroslav Vidowicz, uh, Chick Corea, uh, Erdo Morea, uh, Jack DeJanet, amongst others. Awesome, uh, almost sort of a world progressive jam. Really damn good. <laughs> From front to back. Just delicious fusion album. Really excited to get those two. Been wanting them for a while. Another VCLT, Moon Griffin, Glimpse of the Future from uh, from the great. Uh, you don't make videos, man. You need to make videos. I see you on uh, the Facebook page all the time, Mr. Curtis Simpson Jr. Oh, this is a great album. Almost along the lines. I, I, I mean, it's it's a fusion, you know, a jazz fusion piece, uh, but it. Some of the, the drum beats, it, it's almost got like a hip-hop sort of uh, a sample flavor to it. Uh, very damn good. If I remember, I'll put a link down for you. But but uh, Curtis, my man, thank you so much for thinking about me. Uh, out of the blue, I have to hit you back one day. <laughs> uh, Rob Mazurik with the Exploding Star Orchestra. Uh, what, what is it? A Galactic Parables Volume 1. Makes me wonder if there's going to be a Volume 2. Three LP set. Oh, look at the tastiness <laughs> on some awesome, beautiful, clear vinyl. Oh, i got to show that. Uh, this is actually live recordings of two different jams. One's in like, uh, uh, Sar 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 what the it says on it, uh, Sard Sardinia, Italy. And uh, the other is from uh, Chicago, Illinois. And some of the tracks overlap. Like, they play some of the same tracks, but they don't sound the same. <laughs> you know, like, uh, uh, you know, for example, the first the first track on the uh, uh, the Italian cut is like 20-some-odd minutes long, and then the same one in Chicago is like half the time. It's like 11 minutes. So, <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's definitely variations of the same song, and it's, it's cool to hear the variations. Uh, Got to throw out Jeff Parker. Jeff Parker plays on this, who I just... Fucking love. Everyone's good on this. Uh, fusion music, I should say, by the way. Sort of a progressive jazz with uh, bits of electronic in there and some spoken word pieces. But uh, uh, the guitar on this, Jeff Parker, just divine Jeff Parker, really blew me away. Uh, one of the cuts, can't remember which one, he uh, does an amazing solo. But everybody on this record was good. But got to throw out Jeff Parker on that one. 
Uh, Grant Calvin Weston, Dance Romance. I was reviewing one record on Discogs and this one kind of clicked up on me out of nowhere. And I found it cheap and I figured I had to get it because it has uh, Jamaluddin Takuma on here along with uh, James Blood Omer who wrote uh, two, two or three of the tracks. So it was a blind buy, found it cheap, came from like Romania or something I think. And when I got it, I put the needle down, I was all excited and the first two tracks sucked. Oh God, there's such just this sort of 80s production nonsense. I really didn't care for them. Then the third track came on. And I was like, wait a minute now. James Blood wrote the track and he started getting real bluesy and fusion-y. And I was like, oh yeah. So I flipped the other disc over and it was fucking great. Uh, bluesy, jazzy, sort of almost a 90s hip hop feel at times uh, with some of the tracks. I uh, really, really enjoy this. But like I said, the first two tracks suck. <laughs> so you can't win them all. Sax Ruins Bimugas. This came out like a couple years ago, uh, 2013, and I slept on it to get until now. Uh, Sax Ruins is literally just uh, Yoshida Tatsuya from Ruins uh, playing with a, a saxophone player who are doing, uh, well, Ruins covers, so <laughs> therefore Sax Ruins. And it is so good, especially the saxophone playing, because it's just layer upon layer of saxophone with these tracks, uh, just like they'll have a bass, a bass, a baritone sax mixed with an alto sax, mixed with the flute, mixed with like three or four other alto saxes. And then, you know, Yoshida's drumming, just madness, monster, monster noise, madness, punk album. Absolutely love it. And to go along with the Ruins, Ruins alone, uh, literally just uh, Yoshida Tatsuya playing on this, uh, noisy, punky, electronic beats. Uh, just absolutely love Ruins of Yoshia Tatsuya. So I can't get enough of him. Band Camp Blink for this one. Uh, Humanity Sweet. Uh, Ross Hammond's Humanity Sweet. Oh, this is a divine album. I've had my eyes on this for a while. And I sort of tucked it away. And I finally got around to getting it. Uh, sort of a spiritual jazz light ensemble. I mean, uh, Vinny, Vinny Golia on here, got to give a throw out. He, play, he played a, a saxophone, bass clarinet, a flute, uh, singing bowls. Oh, he, every time his soloing came on, I was just blown away. Along with the lady, uh, Catherine uh, Sikora on tenor saxophone. Essentially one long piece, a 45 minute long piece covering both tracks of the, uh, both sides of the album, I should say. Uh, very spiritual nation, fusion-y. Uh, just an awesome piece. Something you could pretty much feel coming out of the 70s, but also very modern. Uh, Bandcamp link, check it out. This is an awesome, awesome album. Terz Riptal, finally, finally. Uh, Terz Riptal Odyssey. Uh, two LP set off of a wonderful ECM. Finally got this. I've been wanting it for a long time and really just sleeping on it because I couldn't find one at the price I like and I think I got this for, for like 11 or 12 bucks with shipping uh, somebody had a, uh, uh, you know put a bid in uh, for an offer put an offer so I put an offer they accepted it very excited I finally got this this is a fusion masterpiece heavy heavy bass with some I mean just god awful amazing guitar <laughs> the kind of guitar that when you're listening to it as a guitarist myself, just makes me want to put the instrument down because I'll never be that good. I mean, it's just amazing uh, rock out there floating pieces of, of guitar with some heavy bass and some awesome synthesizer playing with some amazing trombone. Uh, the trombone on this <laughs> blew me away. But uh, I don't, other, other than Terz Riptal, I don't know any of the other players on here. So they're all Norwegian players, I assume. But amazing ECM album. You ever come across it, don't let it slip from you. Carlton Melton meets Dr. Space. Woo! Live at Roadburn, uh, 2014. Double album. Oh, got to show the vinyl. Cool color vinyl on this one. Uh, double album. Uh, live album, should say Live at Roadburn. 
Uh, not a gatefold. Wish it was a gatefold. Not a gatefold, but you can't win them all. Uh, Carlton Melton is a great uh, psychedelic space rock jam band. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Uh, and mixed with uh, Dr. Space, who's the uh, synth player, the noise, squonky space vibration player from uh, Ors and Space Collective. So <laughs> this, is a, this is a great, great album. Uh, two Pink Floyd covers on here, I, I believe. Uh, I can't remember which one. <laughs> but no, nonetheless, two Pink Floyd covers on here with a bunch of other uh, uh, Carlton Melton tracks with Dr. Space just doing all kinds of cosmic whizzes and noises over it. Great album. Really enjoyed that one. And speaking of Wars and Space Collective, The Black Tomato. I know, tomato, but for this, for some reason, I gotta say Black Tomato. <laughs> uh, another awesome album from Wars and Space Collective. This is actually their third CD release, but the first time this is being printed on vinyl. And again, another cool, cool color vinyl. Gotta show it. Gotta love the beautiful vinyl. Uh, or is a Space Collective psychedelic, completely improvised jam band, uh, what I call space rock. Uh, they just gather a bunch of musicians together, uh, get in the studio, and start jamming. <laughs> oh, another thing I should say is uh, number seven out of 300. <laughs> Anytime uh, an Orzen uh, Space Collective album comes out, I gotta pick it up, so. Number seven to three hundred. Ching. A uh, new guapo. Oh, knowledge, obscure knowledge. Oh, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Guapo is a English uh, sort of avant rock band. I'd call it progressive in nature. Uh, kind of, kind of almost a dark gothic feeling at times, but as well as being almost humorous about it. Uh, awesome fucking uh, band and. Uh, Anything I can find by them, I get. I still need their CD elixirs, which I just can't find one at the right price. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, this came off of Cuneiform Records. I'll put a Bandcamp link down. Oh, the Rob Mazurk came off of Cuneiform too, so Bandcamp for both of those. But uh, essentially one long piece, about 38, 40 minute piece, whatever it is, uh, covering both sides. Heavy, beautiful guitar with some beautiful texture drumming with some just amazing heavy freaking bass screaming in your ear with some killer synthesizer playing it that's all you need to know guapo absolutely love them another ecm that i've been wanting for a really long time julian uh, priester peppo Matobo, mitoto <laughs> love love oh just got this in today Another awesome ECM fusion piece from 74, I think? Uh, 73. Oh, man. Uh, where do I start with this? Uh, well, first off, let's talk about some of the players on here. You got Bill Connors doing drums with Ron McClure on bass. Uh, uh, Bayate uh, Umbrio Zindico, if I'm pronouncing that right, on uh, Fender Rhodes and uh, piano and clavinet with Callie Had Hadman doing some awesome reed playing on this uh one of the tracks he, he has a bass clarinet solo i fucking love bass clarinet but uh like i said before jazz fusion uh ranging from anything to some sort of funky long extended free jazz piece to almost a more standardy bop <laughs> jazz amazing amazing album with some of the best uh soloing i've ever heard Really happy to finally have that. Bear with me, two more. <laughs> Third ear experience. Woo, baby. Very happy to finally have this. Uh, Black Black Peacock, I believe the album's called. Black Peacock, something like that. Yeah, Black Peacock. Uh, another psychedelic space rock jam band. I think they're improvised, but... Don't quote me on that. <laughs> it, it definitely feels like they're improvised. They just get together and play. Uh, live recording. Uh, four extended jams. Just fucking amazing. Really happy to get this uh, on some very tasty blue vinyl, too. I should probably show the vinyl. 
Ah, looks like a gumdrop. Just want to eat it. And black sleeves. I don't know why, but I just love black sleeves. <laughs> I guess a weird personal preference, but third ear experience. I believe we're from California, but this was like a UK release or something like that, or a German press. I can't remember. Uh, but really interesting uh, mix of instrumentation on this because you have, of course, two different guitar players just going at it with bass and drums, of course, the trifecta. But then you have like dirigibu, der der I don't. How do you pronounce that? Dirigidu. <laughs> you know, you know that big long, brrr, the uh, Aboriginal instrument, uh, along with some really good keyboard playing and some really out there saxophone. So uh, just awesome from front to beginning album. Really enjoyed it. And the last one we got to show <laughs> is uh, very excited to get. Uh, Acid Mother's Temple and Melting Prizal UFO. This is one I've been wanting for a while. Uh, four LP set came off of, uh, uh, what's it, Fr Fractal Records or something? No, Fractal Records out of France, 2013. I, I was hoping it was going to be <laughs> a, uh, a four fold out or quad fold or however you want to say it. But it's just, it's just a gate fold and they stuffed two LPs in both sets. Uh, standard black vinyl. Really excited to get this because it's one I never thought I would have. Because uh, it, whenever I've seen it, it's always been really expensive. I mean, 150, 200, 260 dollars. Just tremendous amount of money for this. Uh, and I ended up finding somebody put a put an offer in for 70, and I scored it. <laughs> so very excited to finally have this in there, and it was worth the money oh it was worth the money there's uh because this is the earlier acid mother's temple had a lot of uh almost a japanese folk influence in it so a lot of the songs are these beautiful almost acoustic pieces with cotton casino doing some space vocal noise <laughs> which i just love uh and then on the other side you have some of the hardest fuzzed out noise from them that i've ever heard <laughs> so just an amazing uh, beautiful album by Asin Mother's Temple not for everybody but I love it uh, that's it if you guys stuck with me thank you <laughs> I'm sure this uh, video went really long and my next video I'll try not to be so uh, lazy about them <laughs> so I won't have a lot to show check out the Bandcamp links thank you all for hanging with me and as always Till next time.